Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Football Manager 24 Journeyman Save currently with Peterborough Sports. If you do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure to drop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. Get a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Them two long-term injuries to McCammon and Nicholson have really killed us. Our form has taken a little bit of a hit. We've brought in a further three signings, so I definitely can't use the excuse of this team and not being mine. We are also well over our wage budget, which is a little bit of a concern. Let's waste no further time, though and get straight into it. If we start out then with our signings, one that happened just a couple of days after the last episode ended is Daniel Ledbetter. Obviously, we got rid of both of our right backs. I think in the last episode, we brought one in. Daniel Ledbetter is coming in to be a little bit more cover on £110 a week until the end of the season. 33 years of age, very experienced. Played six games so far, averaged a seven match rating recently, released by Gloucester, who I think we actually play in today's episode. Had many years at Bristol Rovers, spent a couple at Newport County as well. But Daniel Ledbetter, is officially in as a right back option but he can also fill in at centre back as well if we need him to. Another full back joining the football club then is AD White. The 32 year old has signed on a deal until the end of next season on £350 a week. Very very talented player so far has played 6 matches for us only averaged 6.63 which is quite disappointing. Recently released by Rochdale has also had a period a long period of time at Leeds United disappointingly but a very very good left back at this level and he's obviously our starting left back at the moment but look at his match rate in there. Maybe he needs to be dropped for a bit. And obviously with the two long-term injuries to Nicholson and McCammon, we did need to bring in another forward option. So Naveed Nazuri has joined the football club on £180 a week until the end of the season. Three-star current ability, four-star potential, five foot eight can play right mid, centre mid, left mid, left wing, attacking midfield and right mid, uh, right attacking midfield, sorry. So I'm very happy to get him in through the door. So far has only managed the one appearance for us that was a start and he got a 6.2 rating, which wasn't ideal. Recently, I've uh, been at Mac Macclesfield Town as well last season where he actually failed to make an appearance. He's never really cut it at any level. So big opportunity to, opportunity for him to prove himself between now and the end of the season to see if he can maybe win a new longer term contract. But in terms of how we got on then, since you were last with us, I closed the game after this match against Troll. They didn't open it up for about four or five days or however long it's been. I'm not really too sure. I haven't opened it since Friday and then we've gone on a, a disappointing run of form if we're honest we had a 2-0 loss at home to Alfreton a 2-0 loss at home to Scunthorpe a 1-1 draw away at Spennymore a 3-1 win away at Brackley we're actually meant to come back for this game against Brackley and then the FA Trophy 5th round but because it was against Poulton who were in the step below I thought we'll just get past that one we should be able to get the job done we did in the end with a 3-1 win then we also had a 2-2 draw at home to Hereford where they equalised in the 96th minute before a 2-1 win at home to Rushall a 6-1 win away at and Ashton, a 4-2 win away at Southport before most recently a 2-1 defeat away at Darlington and a 2-0 defeat at home to Warrington. So two really disappointing results recently. In terms of today's episode, then we have Buxton at home and the FA Trophy quarter final against Gloucester, who are currently 23rd in the Vanarama National League North. We're currently fourth in the table. We have played a game more though than a lot of the teams around us. I'm not really too sure why there is what about four? Five teams that have played 39 matches. Not really too sure what's going on there. But yeah, we're currently on 67 points. We are 11 points off top of the table. Scum thought they have a game in hand though. And we're currently six points away from third place. Obviously, if you finish second or third, you have to play less playoff matches. I think it's one less playoff match. Um, yeah, we're currently six points off them having played a game more. But let's waste no further time then and get into the first game of today's episode. McCammon is thankfully back from his injury. Nicholson is still going to be out for another 12 days to three weeks. Hewlett is currently out with an injury as well. Pulled Carthy is going to be out for for at least another three weeks. Nazuri is going to be back in full fitness and full training in three days as well, which is disappointing. Couple tire plays as well from recently playing, but it's against Buxton. I think this team should just about be able be good enough to get the job done. We've got Crook in goal, currently unhappy because I've been a bit harsh apparently. I don't know. I only threw a water bottle. His head it needs to grow up a little bit in my opinion. At right back we've got Ledbitter with Johnson and Wood at centre back and Pharrell at left back with Lawler and Weston in the midfield. A front three behind the striker of Lonsdale, McCammon and Felix starting over on the left wing and Martins leading the line. On the bench then we've got Elsom, Elva Fountain, Lennon, Smile and Michael Gash as well find himself back on the bench. You know a lower numbers and low for fitness when Michael Gash finds himself on the bench but this game isn't the most important of the episode we've obviously got the FA Trophy quarterfinal I think to get to the quarterfinal is quite impressive I'm not sure if National League teams are even in that from what I've seen we haven't faced one yet so maybe we've just got really lucky but I was under the impression that the FA Trophy was like the FA Cup for non-league clubs 
Might be wrong though. Tom Elliott leading the line for Buxton. I wonder if that is actually the uh, the former Bradford player. Sam Miniham as well at right back form at Stockport United right back. Stockport United, Stockport County right back. God, what is going on with me in today's episode? Let's get underway then for the first game of it. Fingers crossed we can start out with a win. Get the job done. We need to get back on track this season. McCammon finally back from injury. I think he's played one game since his injury so fingers crossed he can start building up his fitness again and all that sort of stuff but we are now underway then for today's game and we have the ball here wood finds it into weston he goes into lawler back into johnson now a little bit of room for him to go out wide into leadbitter lonsdale now looks to take on his man gets tackled far too easily there and brown wins the ball back hunt now looks for a pass into midfield risky pass and we managed to win the ball back lonsdale gets it off of lawler back into lawler out wide here into lonsdale can he get a ball into the box he can. He does manage to eventually, towards the back post, Felix heads just over the bar. He's been very key for us over the last couple of games or so. So excited to see how he gets on in today's game. I think this is the first game all season, though. He's actually started on the left side because he's done a very good job on the right wing and the odd game he's had to play at right back as well. Obviously, no Hewlett in today's game and episode, really. So big opportunity for Martin to step up and maybe even Michael Gash if we need him to. Lead bit now, get into the byline. He cuts it back into Lawler. Ball inside here to Lonsdale twist and turns and gets the shot off and Brandon Lonsdale over the last couple of matches has been very very impressive I can't remember what game it was I think it was in the FA Trophy previous round the fifth qualifying round I'm not really too sure off the top of my head I think it was in that game he got a brace and since then he's just been scoring goals he hadn't scored up until that point and now he's on the score sheet once more brilliant finish there from Brandon Lonsdale he, we signed him to be one more for the future obviously we're here until that at the latest, the end of next season, I would like to have maybe moved on by the end of then. Maybe that's resigned, sacked, moving up hopefully to a better job potentially. And we'll have to wait and see how things go. I'm enjoying my time at Peterborough Sports, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get them promoted with the current budget. Unless it's going to massively increase next season. There's just a little bit too much quality at this level for what we need to rebuild in such a short period of time I don't think we'll be able to do it but I did actually start my first coaching course as well the club finally let me do that so I think it's like you're the worst one possible because obviously I don't have any coaching badges so that is what I am currently trying to work towards and I think it'll take me about four months to complete it we started about a month ago so that should be done hopefully by the end of the season as Martin's getting back onto the game now has just dragged an effort wide corner ball for us here Pharrell swings it in not a bad ball it comes to Felix on the edge lays it down here into Western Lonsdale now bit of room to cut in and strike and he's got to at least hit the target there very poor from Brandon Lonsdale had all the time in the world just to pick his spot he's had gotta blast it there and reverse it at the near post or just pick his spot at the far post and curl it in disappointing there to not double our lead and again i'm not really too sure why we've played a game more than everybody else seems so i think there's four teams in the league who have played 40 games everyone else is currently on 39 it does seem really really strange but buxton are coming forward here right on the ball gets a shot off easy save there for peter crook he's a goalkeeper i would like to keep hold of i think he's you know done a pretty good job you know, he's not been amazing and he's on 500 pounds a week and i think that could maybe potentially be better spent as pharrell goes quite close there but he's unwilling to enter contract negotiations at the moment is peter crook because he's unhappy about my team talk which was like two months ago which I think is crazy the backup goalkeeper though is absolutely awful he actually did play in the last FA Trophy qualifying round and goodness me he chucked one into his own net Felix now swings a low ball in and once again Kane Felix has another assist Josh McCammon back from injury and finally back on the score sheet he's probably only fit enough to get us through to half time but he's on the score sheet once more brilliant way to start out today's episode then back with three points Felix with a really Really nice ball in there, low ball in. McCammon with a nice finish over Durnley. It's 2-0 to Peterborough Sports here. And I would say it's pretty deserved. We've comfortably been the better team so far. Only the two shots on target though for us. So we need to be a little bit more clinical. What a 45 minutes that was. You have certainly blown them away. And I think what we're going to do, I mean, we've got no wingers on the bench. That's the problem. We can't exactly play. Can Michael Gash play in the 10? I mean, he's played pretty much everywhere else. Michael Gash is coming on to play as a number 10. Josh McCammon, he's done what he needed to do in that first half. He's coming off. We'll give Gash a run out. Our player slash assistant manager at the club. Although in real life, I'm pretty sure his joint manager is Michael Gash. 37 years of age, £450 a week is how much 
we're paying him. So you'd expect bigger things from him. When he has played, to be fair, he hasn't done too bad. Not a lot's really happening in the second half. If nothing wants to happen all second half, that is completely fine by me. I'm more than happy to let this clock run down and we'll get the job done. Right is in behind here though for Buxton. Cuts it across with Waters and somehow he's missed. What is that? A header about two yards out? Somehow he's put that one over the bar. Let's now make some substitutions. I'll give him some praise there. And Weston has picked up a foot injury. So he's going to come off for Josh Smile. And our final change of the game, Harry Lennon is going to go on for Dan Law. Then that means we'll put Pharrell into midfield, Wood over to left back. It's good that we've got a number of players you can play in different positions. Really happy about that. So we'll go to something like this. I mean... With all due respect to Buxton, I can't see them scoring two goals in 20 minutes when they've not really offered much all game. We've got Gash in the 10, Pharrell back in the midfield. I hate these times where we've just got so many players who are fatigued. And maybe I should just play them fatigued, but because we've got such a small squad, I don't want to run their bodies into the ground. So you've got to think, these have all got other jobs to, to worry about as well. It's not just Peterborough Sports. We're a part-time club. You know, some of them will be up nice and early in the morning. I've no idea when this game's being played. I don't know if it's Saturday. I, I'm going to assume by it being 16 degrees, it's not a cold Monday night as what sometimes can be played in the Vanarama National League North. But some of them, there's got to be at least one player on his team who's maybe like a postman and he's got to go do his Sunday round tomorrow morning. He'll be up at five o'clock. So I don't want to kill the players' bodies, give them the day off, all that sort of stuff. But Buxton are coming forward here and it's a very dangerous attack right into the box. I remember when I said, I don't think they'll get two goals in 20 minutes. Well, there's not 60 seconds left on the clock. Buxton have pulled a goal back, and knowing football manager, there's probably going to be nine minutes of added time. Now, I mean, it's a good ball in from right, a decent finish there from De Girolamo, and Buxton have way back into the game. Five minutes added on, I'm going to berate them, absolutely scream at them. Can we see this one out, get the three points, get the job done? We've just about managed to do so. Wasn't pretty, we've got the job done. I mean, what I want to say is that was a real Jekyll and high performance, but at this stage in the season, getting the win and getting the three points is all that matters. Maybe if we'd have been at Peterborough Sports at the start of the campaign, we could have really been in a title race. We are still 11 points behind them, though, and we've played a game more. Weston's going to be out of two to three days with a bruised ankle. That's absolutely fine by me. And now we've got a couple of days rest. What's that like? A three-day rest before this game against Gloucester. Can we have a longer highlight here? Longer skip animation thing. What have we done here? Record the Vanarama North top half finish. We've done two years ahead of schedule. That's very nice. And... Can we now get it? Here we go. So we've got one, two, we've got a three-day break, and then the game against Gloucester. They're 23rd in the table. It's a game I definitely do expect us to win. I think it's probably safe to say our team has taken a few hits going into this game. Nicholson's still out injured, Hewlett's still out injured, Lawler suspended, Weston and Martins both cup tied. So we line up then with Crook in goal. A back four of Elva Fountain, Can, Johnson and White with Smile and Pharrell in the midfield. Pharrell is actually starting in the midfield this game. He's actually going to start as a Segundo Volante. Felix on the right back in his more natural position. Folks is back on the left wing. McCammon in behind Lonsdale who leads the line. Six goals for him now this season. On the bench we've got Elsa Ledbitter, Lennon, Nazeri and Michael Gash once more. Can he come on and save the day if we need him to? I think this is a pretty comfortable tie at home against a team who are 23rd in the same league as you. When you're pushing for an automatic promotion spot, of course, they're in the relegation zone. They've got Ben Richards Evan at the back, which is probably self-explanatory, to be fair. I remember it wasn't even that long ago when he was actually like a regular star at Bradford City. That performance away at Stevenage, for those Bradford fans watching, that performance in the 1920 season away at Stevenage, 1-0 win on a Tuesday night, you have not seen a better defensive performance than what you saw from Richards Everton in that one. But we're underway for today's game. Can we get an early goal? AD White finds Ben Fawkes. He cuts it all the way back here to Johnson. Smile now. Finds Pharrell playing in a maybe not natural role for him. Felix, ball across for Lonsdale. Let's pretend that never happened. I think he was offside anyway, but it's a big opportunity for him there. We've got two touchline tablets matched that. So I will, for the sake of this game, we're going to put it on a Peterborough Sports pass map. Because that's what we all want to see, isn't it? Johnson looks to switch it out wide into Felix. Little bit of room for him here. Swings a ball in, looking for folks at the back post. Cleared away by Ram. Only as far as Johnson. He finds A.D. White. Pharrell now. Great pass there attempted anyway. Richards Evan gets his big head on it. And now Elva Fountain finds Can. Loads of time for him here. And he goes square into Johnson. Back in the start 11 today. And he goes into Pharrell. Finds a nice position there. Where the referee just come from? He's just done a 60-yard sprint to get back up with play. A.D. White now finds Ben Folks. 
Then he cuts inside and finds Johnson. He's looking to go square into Can. We've been very patient in our play, and I think we're going to have to because Gloucester are playing so defensive. McCammon there with a nice dummy. He finds Felix twisting and turning and striking. Good save from the keeper who has picked up some sort of an injury, so we need to play on that early on in today's game. Corner kick to come. Pharrell to take. Left-footed in swinger. Over on that far side, low ball in. Cleared away by Hamilton. Only as far as Felix. Back into Pharrell. Not a bad ball in. No one's there. Another corner ball to come. But someone is offside. Pharrell's offside there. That's quite disappointing. They're playing with a 4-3-3 defence. So it's kind of like a man-for-man -man in that midfield. Dead DM is marking our attacking midfielder. But McCammon is a big game player and he wins the ball back there. Folks finds himself on the right wing. They're all kind of getting in each other's way here. Anyway, Lonsdale picks up the ball. Turns away from his man. He's very tight on him. But he goes back into Johnson. Pharrell now... Finds it into Can. A little bit of time for him here. And he's going to look to pick his pass into McCammon. Felix now. Can he take on his man? He goes all the way back once again into Hayden Can. Back into Felix. Inside to Josh Smile getting involved. Elva Fountain. Back into Can. Back out wide into Elva Fountain. Don't you dare. He goes back into Hayden Can. That's definitely a fine. Can now. Goes into Johnson, looking to step in with the ball. Can we play a forward pass, maybe? Smile out wide into A.D. White, our number 24. Can he swing a ball in? He loses it far too easy, but he's done well to win it back, and he swings the ball in, looking for Lonsdale. And once again, we haven't been able to find the back of the net. Eventually, Gloucester will clear. It's been all Peterborough sports so far. I'm now going to put it onto attack, and it's Pharrell has struck the crossbar there from a very nice free-kick attempt. Their keeper's injured, but they're not bringing him off. That seems strange. Strange to me. They're playing with an inverted wing back and an inverted full back. I never thought I'd see the day at non league level. Pretty comfortable save there for the goalkeeper. I think it was Johnson who got the header out there. Smile picks it up in the midfield and he finds it into Elva Fountain. Finally, we look for a long ball. I really don't mind that, to be honest with you. With the amount of short passes we've played today, I don't mind us going long every now and again. As much as I like us to be a possession based team, having pointless possession is really, really frustrating. Trust me. I've watched Bradford City play under Mike Hughes and that is 1 0. It's not, because it, he's offside and it's saved by the goalkeeper anyway. This goalkeeper, I know that was offside, but that's still a very, very impressive save. How on earth are we not winning this game? Maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. And Can picks up the ball once more. He's got to have the most touches out of anyone on this whole pitch so far. In fact, he probably has double the second. He's had that many touches of the ball. Pharrell now finds the good pass there into Ben Fox. And can he take on his man? Maybe get a ball into the box. He cuts it back here for Pharrell. Interesting one too, but it's worked. Fox into the penalty area, twisting and turning and just blasting it into the side net and I hope you are getting as frustrated watching this as I am being the manager of this because it's so so disappointing there's no in product at the moment we're going to tell them to play for set pieces we've created 2.19 xg had 70% of the ball and I'm sure this highlight's going to be 1-0 Gloucester from probably an own goal where my keeper's just going to throw it into the net cross comes in header comes in I think that's going to hit the post anyway but Goodness me, that was awful. Yet another corner ball to come for us. Pharrell will take. We've been disappointing from set pieces so far this season. And again, that one doesn't beat the first man. Pharrell though lays it off to Felix. Good first touch. And once again, we haven't found the back of the net. Off the outside of the post. And that should just about be enough to see us through to half time. Such a frustrating first half there. I'm far from pleased with what I've seen from that team. Michael Gash is coming on for Josh McCammon. We're going to two up front. Lonsdale's going to play as a pressing forward on attack. Gash is going to come on and play as a supportive target forward. McCammon's not been too bad. And he's not really tired, but I want to change in formation just to try and stick it on them a little bit. Maybe we should actually tell them to go much more direct. We don't need to be playing these short passes. Shoot more. We want to get some mixed crosses in there as well. And hopefully... We can start scoring some football goals because we've been comfortably the better team so far. We've created 2.56 xg. How this game is still nil-nil, I'll never know. And then we go and score a goal like that. I mean, the keeper's been outstanding all the game, and then he's been beat. He's near, near post from 20 yards out. I guess that's non-league football from you. I don't even feel happy that we've scored there because we should be 4 or 5 nil up. It's a great finish there from Kane Felix. He is the boy. He is my star man. How many goal contributions has he actually had so far this season? Because I feel like it's quite a lot. Seven goals, 12 assists. And obviously in 33 matches. But some of them will have been before I even came into the football club. Let's now make another substitution. We're going to get Elva Fountain off for Leadbitter. And... I think we'll leave it like that for now. We could actually get Naziri on for Fawkes on this left wing and play him as an inverted winger. He is right-footed. Yeah, he is right-footed. So we'll get him on 
on that left-hand side, see what he can do because he's debut well. He's certainly flattered to deceive. And now corner comes into the box for L, looking for that near post. Of course, he doesn't beat it. Johnson lays it off to Felix, and Kane Felix has done it again. It's a Kane Felix masterclass in today's episode. Back on the right wing, back scoring goals. I think I accidentally encouraged them before that set-piece came into the box as well. Pharrell with another poor corner, I mean, he needs to come off a corner. As Johnson lays it off, Felix with a first-time strike, takes a slight deflection, but all that does is take it into the top corner. Peter Sports 2, Gloucester nil. We are going to be going through into the FA Trophy semi-finals, and we could actually maybe win some silverware this season, which would obviously be very nice. We'll give him some praise as we head into the last 10 minutes. It wasn't pretty. We've managed to get the job done fingers crossed in this episode the first game against Buxton should have been much more comfortable than it was this one should have been much more comfortable than it was but you've got to factor in that we've barely got any strikers available at the moment and the strikers that we do have aren't really firing ball comes into the box here deep towards the back post is that a penalty no that everyone just seemed to stop for no reason crook manages to claim it three minutes added on at the end of today's game and that should see us through into the semi-final brilliant performance there from Kane Felix he is the man 9.9 .9 match rating for him there two goals back in the team back scoring goals back in his natural position as well that's the most important thing three new signings of all not exactly impressed in today's episode I know they all didn't really play too much but Felix we've got to keep talking about him because what a man he is he's actually out of contract at the end of the season I feel like how we how well he's played he deserves a new deal so we're actually going to give him a new deal just because of how good he is and the amount of goal contributions that he does get regular starter he's happy with that he's currently on 300 pounds a week he does want a pay rise i can't give you any more than a uh, any more of a pay rise sir but i'm happy to keep you on 300 pounds a week he's fuming about that he wants a pay rise we might have to come back to that later on but i'm gonna leave it there then for today's episode thank you all very much for watching and tuning in thank you all for putting up with some dodgy commentary at times as well if you have enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe get a comment in the, down in the comment section down below to let me know your thoughts on our new additions and how you think our season has gone so far thank you all for watching have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all very soon for another one peace